Hello, my name is Romuald Soverval. I'm graduate in architecture from Architecture School of Grenoble in France. Hello, I am François Aninetti. I'm a teacher in mechanical structure at Architectural School of Grenoble in France, and I'm also a carpenter. Today, we'll present the result of our creation of pavilion with bamboo as a main material. In this short video, we'll share the following elements about the project. First, the origin of the project and contains. Second, the design choices. Third, the numerical modeling. And fourth, key takeaways. The origin. We create this structure for a cultural festival. This construction, the construction of this prototype has three objectives. First, it needs to be a temporary installation for a cultural event. Reusable, transportable by a light vehicle and removable by two people. Second, we want to show that through simple or low-tech techniques, it's possible to create connections that make optimal use of the mechanical characteristic of bamboo. We, see it, we set ourselves the objective of a 6.50 meters span. Third, we want to use bamboo, a material that is found in abundance in many parts of the world and therefore affordable even for poor populations. Bamboo is one of the oldest building materials. It has made advantage over wood. First, adaptability. Bamboo <coughs> grow in different climates and soils, which make it a natural and local building resources in many parts of the world. Second, bamboo is a water regulator with rapid growth. Most of bamboo is a very widespread species used for construction purpose and can grow up to one meter per day. Third, bamboo has mechanical properties that are almost unmatched by their wooden competitors and can, grow, can go up to 238 MPA in axial tensions. Now we are going to talk about the design choices of the project. To reach the span objective of 6.5 meters, we opted for the installation of a self-supporting roof by using an accelerate structure. It is composed by verandal beam intersecting each other, positioned on the octagonal base composed of eight independent panels. Why did we choose this shape? The choice of the octagonal base is an, an adaptation between the circular shape conferring a structural uniformity of the base of the project and the wood material used for the top and bottom rail of the panel. Indeed, the shape of the yacht with the peripheral truss allows to obtain a rigid and correctly braced base. Our octagon is made up of eight independent panels, which are joined together by a half wood assembly. Each panel is made of wood, one low and one high, both joined by a succession of vertical bamboo uprights and braced by the installation of wind bracing cross also in bamboo. Um, about the numerical modeling. Now we're going to talk about the structural part of the project. The first issue was to find out data on bamboo properties, references, uh, internet sites, and so on. As we can see, you can get the reference on the screen. Then we had to, dec to decide which type of assembly would fit each connection in order to stick as much as possible to the reality. Every wall had been considered as a truss, thus every link, every link is inched. All the connection of the rear beams 
were done by embedment and then had to be considered as fixed jump. The next solid principle of the roof gives us gave us a few geometrical issues solved by adding little sticks to ensure the connection between beams. The loading cases considered wind, such as wind and snow, are pessimistic situations. However, if we look at the maximum deflection, it does not exceed 70 millimeters and is mostly due to the rotation because of the next array the accelerated conception of the roof. So, as you can see on the picture, if we add the wind bracing elements such as the green and the red one, you see in the picture, uh, our roof would give um, a roof would give us an even more efficient roof structure. Thank you for attention. Goodbye.